Let's start with the big and the basic question. What is a blockchain? And why is it interesting? Why is it fascinating? Why is it powerful? All right. So a blockchain, think of it, is a is really a common database distributed. Think about it as a ledger in which everybody can write an entry in a page. You can write, I can write, and everybody can read, and you have a guarantee that everybody has the same copy of the ledger that is in front of you. So if whatever you see on page seven, anyone else sees on page seven. So what is uh, extraordinary about this is this uh, common knowledge thing that I think is a really a first for humanity. I mean, if you look at communication, like right now, you can communicate uh, very quickly, images, uh, thoughts, uh, photos, but do you have a certainty that whatever you have received has been received by everybody else? Not really. And so this commonality of knowledge and the certainty that everybody can write, nobody has, has been prevented from writing whatever they want, nobody can erase, nobody can tear a page of a ledger, nobody can swap page, nobody can change anything, and uh, that is an immutable common record is uh, extremely powerful. And uh, there's some thing fundamental that is decentralized about it. So at least in spirit, uh, some degree, or against maybe a resistance to centralization. Absolutely. If it is not decentralized, how can it be common knowledge? If only one person or a few people have a ledger, they only, you don't have a ledger, you have to ask, you know, what is on page seven? And how do you know that whatever they tell you is on page seven, they tell the same thing to everybody else. And so that is, this commonality is like extremely um, powerful. Just to, uh, just to give you an example, assume that uh, you do an auction, okay? You have uh, worked very hard, you build a building, and now you want to auction it off. Makes sense because uh, you want to auction worldwide, better yet, you want to tokenize the building and sell it you know, in parcels. Now, everybody sees the bids. And you know that everybody sees the bids. You and I see the same bids, and so does everybody else. So you know that a fair price has reached, and you know who owns what and who has paid how much. And if you do it instead of otherwise, you know, in a centralized system, I put a bid, say, oh, congratulations, Alex, you won, and your price is $12,570. How do you know? <laughs> so if instead of this, uh, Common knowledge is a very powerful uh, uh, tool for humanity. 